Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. Now I'm going to be really calm, sweet and subtle in this vlog. This is the Tata Altros EV and I believe it's going to use the same powertrain as the Nexon which means power is going to be 129 and torque will be 245 Newton meters. The Nexon is an absolute blast and I expect the same from the Altros EV as well. Now you see that treatment which is on the Nexon has been given to this car as well. EV written right there just in case you forget that you're so eco-friendly and of course the wheels look really nice. Some of the Tata cars have really nice wheels. And then we have the wheels on the Harrier pre-facelift. Not, we can't call it the facelift, just an update. Anyways, you know what? The best thing about the car is 90 degree swinging opening doors. So the doors open all the way 90 degrees. You need to hire a chauffeur, not to drive the car, but to close the door. Because once you're seated inside, absolutely no way you can close the door. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the interior. It is really very nice of the Ultros. I love the car. And the gear lever is gone, which means there's a good amount of space here as well. But you've got a gear selector, again, similar to the Nexon electric parking brake, auto hold function. I hope all of this makes it to production as well. But you know, you don't pay full money, so you get an analog speedometer, rest everything is digital, of course. Yeah, this treatment which they're doing on the interior, matching it with the exterior, that's also super cool. Ultros is a fab car, it just needs a better petrol engine. But you know what? The EV will actually make up for it and more. Meanwhile, no rear door handle, it's hidden. Space is good at the rear. I've reviewed the Ultros in extensive detail. But there's an EV badging, just to tell the whole world, from every side that you're driving an EV, you're an eco-friendly person at the end of the day. At the rear, of course, it says EV right there. Yeah, Ultros EV on the number plate. That will change when the car goes on sale. And EV is written here as well. So this is the Ultros EV. This is the Nexon EV. There's not much to talk about the Nexon EV. But, uh, you know, both the cars have a very similar theme. And I believe the motor will also be the same. So this is the Nexon EV. And let's quickly have a look at other things at the Tata stall. So this bus goes to Greater Noida. People are actually sitting inside the bus thinking it's going to go to Greater Noida. But no, it's not going to go to Greater Noida because to remove this vehicle from here is going to be difficult. It says Star Bus EV. Let's quickly get inside. Okay, I don't have a ticket, but still I'll try my luck. And uh, you have a monitor here. Lot of switches there. And the instrument cluster looks nice. It's analog. There's a multi-information display in the center. Steering wheel is really big, not that easy to hold. Lot of buttons, lot of controls. I mean, this is less of a bus and more of a jet fighter. So many buttons. People are sitting inside. I am hoping the bus will move any moment. But you've got this wooden treatment. It's very much like a luxury car, like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. I'm just kidding. But wood is not a great idea in a bus. I don't know why. I think because, you know, people in the rain will come with their wet shoes. There's the Harrier, the updated model of the Harrier. There's the Tigor facelift. Looks really nice. Again, look at the grille. Overdone, probably, yes. But then... People of this segment will definitely like it as well. So, let's do a quick walk around of the Tigor. Not really much to talk about because all the information was unveiled a few days back. Not unveiled, revealed a few days back. That is the instrument cluster. Looks a little small somehow, but who cares? Because it's unique and uh, the dashboard looks nice. They have really worked well with the Tigor and the Tiago doing a great job. Because the car looks fresh, the tail lights look super aftermarket. The only thing I really want to complain about Tata cars is where the hell is JTP and how the hell did you discontinue it? Alright, that was a little mean. Here is the Intra V30. I have no freaking clue what it is. So I'm just going to use this screen to see. It's powered by a 1.5 litre diesel engine with 70 horsepower and 140 Newton meters of torque. Now, if you guys think that I should do a vlog of this vehicle, do let me know in the comments section. Yeah, I can park a Tigor in this loading bay and then drive it as well. Oh, let's see the interior. What exactly is the interior of a Tata? pickup truck no i don't know what it is yeah that you know theme of carrying over the outside design on the inside is something which tata motors is exploiting beyond measure and there is the ultros i have absolutely no idea what that ultros is all about but i believe there has to be something different okay so you can actually move this thing right now to see what is exactly made up of how do you move this thing yeah so these are the key pointers like whatever section of it that you want to check all right Okay, this moves at a very slow pace and uh, people are sitting inside. I think they're dummies. So it's showing you the structure of the car because this got a 5 star rating from uh, Global NCAP. But it's not the safest car in India if you consider the Mahindra XUV 300 which also got a 5 star but did better in child occupant safety. So you got all these parameters nicely displayed. This is a very unique and different sort of a concept here by Tata Motors to show you the structure of the car and exactly what it is made up of. And we know that Tata cars are usually safe because even the Nexon has got a 5-star rating. The Tiago as well as the Tigor also did great in terms of, uh, you know, crash testing and whatnot. So they are not really doing weight reduction uh, 
unlike many car makers which reduce the weight compromise of the safety of passengers but increase the fuel economy of the vehicle but at the end of the day people don't really care about safety as much as they should now this is extremely unique how this whole display has been done super cool na super duper cool anyways there are a lot of five stars on this car i think cadbury has sponsored it okay i'm just kidding that was a real bad joke so let's ask the dummy what he feels do you feel safe of course i feel safe it's a very safe car look at me i'm just holding the steering wheel and sit enough of it let's get going now anyways i have a lot to cover in this video and i don't want to exceed 10 minutes anyhow because it's going to be super duper long so what we are going to do is we are going to move to that yodha i think uh, yodha is not such a cool name but then the marketed addresses definitely needs the yodha name probably good amount of storage space and uh, you can actually park a tata nexon inside comfortably without any issue let's open the door and see dashboard is super plain and basic i mean it's super plain and basic but steering wheel is similar to other tata cars and the length of the car is generous tire size is such that the profile is so much honestly ride quality is going to be great it is 70 profile 16 inch 235 is the tire size and the wheel travel and the different distance between the body and the wheels massive indeed says yodha right there this is the nexon facelift again we have already seen what the nexon facelift is all about with the nexon ev i've done a dedicated video on that as well this happens to be the automatic and the cluster well it's digital but not that great it looks more tiago than the nexon ev which is a bit disappointing the ultros and the nexon have a great instrument cluster as well coming to the front of the car it looks unique it looks fresh and definitely it's got a nice shot in the arm with the updates the facelift has done a great job in making the car look more appealing that is the gravitas and when we move on we can see behind there there is a harrier red color this is the sierra i've already spoken about this a million times and more so we're not going to get into it it's going to be clean right now that is the h one second na uh, hbx ya yeah. reno and tata are like kind of sharing the names that is the interior of the car so this is a complete walk around of the tata motors yeah stall at the 2020 auto expo h2x that's about it we have nothing more to talk about but if you know even 80% of this comes to production honestly this car will absolutely rock yeah so there are a lot of buses there's a winger here there is the prima one second this car can rather this truck or bus whatever you want to call it can seat a million people there is the interior looks dope that instrument cluster is also nice infotainment system rather and i've actually driven the prima race truck it was a whole lot of fun as well now to get inside it's going to be a little difficult does it open yeah it does open so we're going to try our luck in getting inside which means that i have to hold on to if i fall and the video gets shaky please pardon me for the same but oh my god it's so challenging to get inside could i not have made it easier now we are in so this is the beautiful looking dashboard the steering wheel on tata's yeah the steering wheel on tata's tigor tiago and the prima truck are exactly the same you can see so many people here and uh, that's not the most comfortable place to be in but hey let's get outside <laughs> i actually fell down that didn't go down well anyways moving on we have got the ultra and uh, there is another ultra here this is the prima truck which we were talking about yes i feel like humpty dumpty right now i sat on the truck and i had a big fall lot of other buses here ultra starbus lng and there's an ev again ultra ev so guys thank you so, oh yeah i felt bad thank you so much for tuning into this vlog this was like a walk around of the tata stall and now i'm just going to sit and recover from the injury which i think i have perceived to get and anyway, thank you so much for watching if you like this video you know what you have to do give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye that's the mercedes press conference happening so many people a million plus for sure